Hey everybody, good morning. Um, it's Thursday. What's the date? The 18th, July 18th. Um, I am a hot mess this morning. I did not sleep good last night at all. Um, I don't know if it's the coming full moon or if it's because I ate three Pop-Tarts yesterday. Yes, you guys, three Pop-Tarts. I feel like such a cow. I don't feel good. Pop-Tarts are horrible for you, so don't eat them. But especially don't binge and eat three. Um, huh. So, I was asked to do a an Instacart how-to and what, like, what to do and what not to do video. So, of course, I was like, yes, I absolutely will. Um, I am on my way to Tennessee right now to actually do Instacart. So, I will be going on my sixth year doing it in October. Um, I love it. If you join Instacart groups on Facebook or, you know, Spark, Driver, Uber, DoorDash, whatever, you're going to see people that hate it, right? because people just hate things i don't know i love it for the freedom um you just you make your own hours you just go do it when you want to um so some basic how to's i will say are my rule of thumb with pay is a dollar fifty per mile minimum um and then as far as item count, y'all, if it's like an absor exorbitant amount of items, like, it has to be like 50 cents per item for me to do it. Now, I'll take small orders. Say it's like 10 bucks for 10 items, one to two miles. I'll take that in a minute. Um, you have to gauge for yourself, like, what your, you know, floor is going to be as far as pay goes. I typically try to do 150 a mile minimum depending on your vehicle you may want to do two to 250 a mile um i don't take orders any less than a dollar 50 a mile usually so that's my rule of thumb on that um there's a lot to cover here you guys so if i skip something um and you start doing instacart and you come up on this and you're like oh my gosh you didn't tell us this it's because there's so much to like tell you okay so, depending on your area, the batches might suck. If I work in Kentucky, the batches are awful. Okay, I'm just going to level with you. If I go down to Tennessee, per like excellent batches, okay? I don't know if it's the demographic of people. People down in Tennessee, they just tip higher. Um, the batch pays a little higher for whatever reason. I don't know. Or maybe because it's, you know, near to Nashville. I don't know. Um, I have found that if someone does not leave a tip before, you know, you shop, like, you can see the pay. It's very transparent. You see the batch pay, you see the tip, everything before you take the order. Um, I have found that 99.9% .9 of the time, if they don't tip when they place the order, you're not receiving a tip at all. People don't tip cash anymore. I get cash on one out of like 200 orders, you guys. Um, and those are typically my regulars that tip cash that I know they do. Um, I don't, as a rule of thumb, I don't take no tip orders, but there have been a couple times where I did um, because the batch pay was good enough where I didn't need the tip. Now, if you watched my Spark video before, you know that. But people don't tip afterward and they don't tip cash so if you're comfortable taking an order with no tip and you don't care that they're not appreciative of your work that's you this is your business like you're an independent contractor you can take and do whatever you want to do it doesn't matter personally i don't um take no tip orders uh, on instacart now spark is a different bird walmart pays you a living wage. Walmart pays well for their drivers. Speaking of, I need to turn that on. Um, Walmart pays their drivers well, and so it's worth it. Instacart is not the case, um, you know, and so I just don't take those orders. But okay, let me change my zone here on 
some sparks and I'll keep going. How are you guys this morning? It's 6 30 Thursday the 18th. Um I'm trying to find my zone. There it is. Okay. So those are my rules for what to take. In my experience, I have I'm on my sixth year, like I said. I think I've done close to 5,000 orders. So, I will do a how-to, you know, when I get in the store later to do with that. I should show you guys kind of how it works. Um, <clears throat> the app can be tricky. So, they change things constantly on Instacart and Spark. Um, they're constantly updating the app, changing things about the app to try to improve you know certain things I guess but it's the Instacart app is so user friendly you almost can't mess it up Spark is not the case um, Spark is very particular in Walmart <clears throat> about what replacements you can do for the customer um, if they have not chosen a substitute and they chose no sub you cannot sub that item on Spark Instacart you can force it um, because customers on Instacart, you guys, they're a little flighty sometimes. And so say that it says, um, like if you can't find an item and it says refund, <clears throat> it says, you know, it forces you to refund it. But if the customer comes back and they're like, oh my gosh, I didn't mean to do that. Can you add this item, you know, or can you replace it with this item? You can add an item to their order. You just hit add item and scan it in. And... I wait for them to ask me to do that in the chat and I take a screenshot of that because you know if you don't it's just to cover your own butt situation there but um <clears throat> so Instacart app is very user friendly I live by the rule that time is money I try to get the batch done as fast as I can but also give the best customer service that I can um I go into the store um, I hit start batch and then I greet the customer and I will just say good morning Sally or whatever you know um, I'm shopping for you now if you need to add or change anything while I'm shopping please don't hesitate to reach out it's very short and simple um, I send that just you know um, customer service skills this is a customer service job right we are here to help people who either can't get to the store don't want to go to the store whatever um, so I send that greeting and then I don't bother them again if and people are going to tell you differently okay here is my ex this is just my experience everything I'm telling you is my experience in the five and a half whatever years I've been doing this right um people don't want to be bothered if they have ordered delivery nine times out of ten those people don't want to be bothered so I will send my greeting and I'll leave it at that. If I need to make a replacement, I choose the best possible replacement that matches what they ordered as closely as possible and as close to the price as possible, right? Sometimes you can't get that close to the price, so. <clears throat> um, I'll add it. You know they can see it it notifies them if you replace anything refund anything whatever the app is very very communicative it, it tells them when you've started shopping it tells them everything you do um, they know and so I don't bother them with oh hey Sally do you want a B or C for your replacement now <clears throat> a lot of shoppers will waste their time and it's that's again this is their business but they'll take pictures of all the shelves and be like what do you want I don't have time for that. I give good customer service as fast as possible. And I will say I've always had a 4.95 or above rating. Um, it's five out of, you know, five stars. Right now I have a five. No one's ever complained that I shopped too fast or that I didn't communicate enough or that I didn't ask them what they wanted. They want you to decide. They're putting you in their place to take the guesswork out of shopping so they don't have to do it for whatever reason they're busy they have kids you know I've had so many moms say 
I'm a homeschool mom. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I don't want to drag, you know, three to four kids out. Get what you want. Replace what you want. They just want you to do the service for them that you're paid to do. And that's just been my, again, my experience now. I see people all day long on the Facebook groups for Instacart say, oh, no, I stop and take a picture and I wait for them to answer. You guys, that is just... Say you get paid $10 for a batch for 10 items. If you're standing there waiting on them to answer you, it might be a while. And sometimes they never, ever do. So, essentially, you're getting paid less per hour when you're standing around waiting. Replacements are common sense. Um, if they've chose refund, I just do a refund. If they see that I've done a refund and that's not what they want, they will message you, trust me they'll say, I didn't want a refund. I'm not sure why I picked that or whatever. Um, you know, and unless they tell you through the chat they want a replacement, you're bound to do a refund, you know, if that's what they've chosen, you have to. So, um, so, that's that. There are many, many, many stores that are you know, using Instacart now. So it's hard for me to kind of go through and tell you guys tips on individual stores. Um, I have not done them all because I just do the ones that are my area. I primarily do Kroger and Walgreens uh, and Publix um, and Meyer. If I go to Bone Green, I do Meyer. So Kroger is the number one people order there the most I feel like in Publix if I'm in an area that has a Publix but typically I'm not the town I work in normally you know four or five days a week they're building one so I'm so excited about that that's going to mean more orders for me um but Kroger so and Kroger affiliates too like is Ralph's there's a couple more um so, you're going to have two types of barcodes, and I'll show you guys if I get two types today. One is a big barcode, and that's if someone has ordered on the Kroger site. They have not ordered through Instacart. Those you do not need your card on. You scan the barcode, and you have to scan it before you scan any groceries, or you have to start over. So, you scan it. It's online pay. So, when you're done scanning your groceries, there's a button on the self check and um, or if you choose to go through a line, it's fine too. They choose online pay, it prints a receipt, you don't use a card. If the customer has ordered through Instacart, it's two barcodes. You just scan both barcodes. Um, on those with the two, that means they've ordered through Instacart and you can scan those any time in your transaction. You don't have to scan them first, but trust me, if it's a big barcode, just one, you have to scan it first or you're going to be screwed later on. Okay. Um, Instacart crashes sometimes. It crashes when you're in the middle of an order. It crashes when you're in the middle of a delivery. When that happens, you either have to just wait it out or you get with support when they're available because sometimes when there's a crash, they're not and you ask them what to do. Um, <clears throat> that is going to be a case-by-case -case basis depending on when it crashes for you. Um, so, things like that, you're going to learn um, when it actually happens. You know, you're not going to learn it right now with me, but I will go try to take an Instacart order so you guys can see how I do it, and I'll film the whole thing for you. Um, our food line in our area has just started doing Instacart too. And those are easy, you guys. I love them. Um, people order a lot because the food line where I'm at is a very small town. So, it's like pretty much all they have, you know, as far as a grocery store. Uh, <clears throat> they do have another one called Cash Savings or something. I live around a bunch of towns, you guys. If you guys have any questions about what town it is, just let me know. But So, one town in Tennessee has a food line and cash. I think it's called Cash Savers. They don't do Instacart, just food line and Walgreens. And then White House, where I work mostly, I do Walmart through Spark. And then Instacart is on Walgreens, um, Kroger, and Dollar Tree right now. And those are the only three. And they're building a Publix there. That's where they're building a Publix. 
Um, so where you live, you can, if you sign up for Instacart, um, open up the Instacart app and there's a map and it shows you what stores in your area Instacart is, um, you know, participating with. So you can see which ones that you're going to be able to do. So I'm trying to think if there's anything I haven't covered before I actually get down here and do an order with you guys. Um, I have a pet smart order to upload. It's so funny someone asked me to do a video because yesterday my daughter and I did a pet smart order and we filmed it and it was a train wreck you guys. I don't, I've never tried to film an Instacart order because like when I'm trying to do one, you know, I'm trying to focus on the order itself and customer service and not like film a video, but I will do one today and I did one yesterday and it's just funny. She filmed the cats uh, that they had for adoption there. They were so cute. One of them had a kitten. I'm sure she had more people just adopted them, but um. all right, you guys, I'm headed to Tennessee and I will catch you guys when I get an order. It's quiet here this morning. I love it. It's like, I don't know, 60 degrees, 65. It feels like not summer. It feels amazing. So this is our croaker. It's very nice. They have some kind of hole opening up down there on that end of the parking lot and they've sectioned it off. It looks like a sinkhole. <laughs> I'm going to avoid that area today. Okay. So here's what the Instacart screen looks like when you start shopping. Um, I'll show you guys what it looks like when there's batches available, but I took one really fast because it was really good. It was $13.12 for these few items. Hey, I'm going one mile. Uh, Leslie has already texted me this morning a thumbs up because Instacart app alerted her that I was shopping. So I'm going to send her a quick greeting and then we'll get to shopping. Okay, so this is the greeting I sent her. Good morning, Leslie. If you need anything while I'm shopping for you, please let me know. Um, I normally say I'm shopping for you now and to let them know, but the app alerts them. So if they don't, you know, if they respond like she did with a thumbs up, then I won't say anything like that I'm shopping. She already knows that. So here we go. Okay, so our first item is Gatorade Frost Blue Glacier Freeze, three count. Um, so she got the singles, but it's three bottles. So let's go see if we can find that. Wait a second. This is all, oh, I'm on, all, I'm on the wrong aisle, you guys. Um, at the other poker, it's all three, but in here it's all five. So here we go. All right, so I've secured the three Gatorades. So we have found item. Scan, three, move on to the next. Okay, so the next item she got is the Nature Zone Honey Wheat, which we've secured here. So we're going to flip that bad boy over. See, it's so easy, it's so self-explanatory. We just scan it and since it's worn, it takes it off the list. So we're going to get to her now. She must be sick because she got sick meds, Gatorade, and soup today, which is unfortunate. I think a lot of people are sick, so. Tuna, let's see. She got the five ounce cans, which are the small ones, and she got two of them. It says chunk light in water. Sorry for the music. I will probably get a copyright strike, but it's okay. So if the, if the sound stops, you know why. <laughs> okay all right all right tuna times two and then we're moving on to soup okay so she got campbell's just regular chicken noodles times two easy peasy um there's a timer at the bottom of your instacart app that tells you how long you've been shopping mine says eight minutes because i've been filming this video but usually i would have already been done by, by now with this order so Let's see here. Where is it? Right here. Chicken noodle. Times two. So we'll grab two. Scan one and move to the next. I've never done one of these, you guys, so if this video is not very good, I apologize, but um kind of hard. You have to have seven hands if you're going to do it this way. So, all right, she got, Oh, I should have grabbed the watermelon, but I can go back. So she got hot dogs. Let's go to the hot dogs. 
Okay, so she got Oscar Mayer bun links. It does not say beef, it just says regular. So that's these. And if I can't find an item, I try to look at the price because the price is gonna tell you exactly which one they got. If you can't, you know, decide for yourself like what it was, then I'm gonna scan it. On to the next. She got Kroger block cheese, eight ounces, which is the smallest one they have. And it is extra sharp cheddar. There's a man stocking those, so I'm not gonna film. I'll be right back. Okay, I've secured the cheese. Sorry, I'm going one by one. This is a small order, so I figured it, this is the best one to do it on. So you scan the cheese. And we'll move on to eggs and creamer. I hope you guys are having a great Thursday. I feel like today's gonna be pretty good. Um, it's already been busy. I have an Uber that keeps popping up that if it pops up again, I'm gonna go ahead and take it. So these are 18 count Kroger eggs. So I always check the eggs, of course. They all look great. Sometimes they don't, sometimes they're busted and you have to go to the next carton, but. All right. We'll scan these little babies. And so she, next she got creamer, Mallow's tea, watermelon, and Tylenol. So I'm gonna grab the creamer, the tea, the Tylenol, and then go all the way back to the watermelon because I didn't see that before. <laughs> Usually I try to map in my mind, like once you learn the store, you can totally map it in your mind, like where you're gonna go um, first and when and all. So let's see, where are these little Mallow's teas at? Hold on just a second, let's see if we can find them here. Oh. They're over here. How many did she get? She got two. So, in other words, I'm gonna have to climb because they're on the top. So, someone put one down here on the bottom. <gasps> you guys, there's one down here. <laughs> I don't have to climb. I'm four foot eleven. If you guys don't know, I struggle sometimes with reaching stuff. Like, I had to climb for the Gatorade earlier. You guys didn't see that because I didn't have the camera on. But I really had to work for that Gatorade. So I hope she appreciates it. All right, so we're gonna scan the Milo's tea. If it'll do it, sometimes the scanner is so stupid, y'all. Okay, there we go. Times two. I said times two. And then she got Coffee Mate French Vanilla 32 ounce, which is a small one. Do, do, do. There's another Instacart shopper down here doing it too. And she jumped in front of me, so it's gonna take a second. Let's see, what did I say? Coffee mate? Yes. This is ask cashier, but that's not true. It's just there for you to grab. I'm gonna go ahead and put this down here by the Gatorade. All right, you guys. Two more items. I would have been done sooner, but it's hard to film. And I freaking walked right by the watermelon on the way in the door and didn't pick it up. So I didn't look at the list very good before I started because I just wanted to start this video for you guys. So let's go. Um, aisle 31, so it's right in front of us. Here we go. It is the Tylenol Cold and Flu Severe. Uber is calling. One moment, please. I will take that. Two miles for $10, you guys. All right, Tylenol. Let's see. So it says that it's $8.99. I pretty much already see it. Is it the blue box? Yeah, that's what order I thought. Oh, y'all, I took that order and the customer canceled it like immediately on Uber. What the heck? Y'all hear that? I said order canceled. <laughs> These people are crazy. They don't know what they're doing. Okay. Scan the Tylenol. 
and let's go for the watermelon and then we're done um i'm on 15 minutes and it, if you guys can tell it's in the red because i went over the allotted time which i think was like 10 minutes which it would have only taken me like six to eight minutes to do this if i wasn't filming but it's fine one thing you guys should ignore is the timer it doesn't mean anything i've gone over plenty of times um doing this for almost six years now and it does not matter like yes you should go ahead and get done for the customer's sake and for you making more money but for any other reason like instacart doesn't like dock you for it they don't care um people will say oh they get the batches to the fastest shoppers the ones that have the the you know lowest second count per minute or second count per item that's not true <laughs> the i have found the people with like the closest proximity to the store get the better batches so that's just my experience i wouldn't listen to any of the haters that are like oh my god your timer's red y'all don't don't listen to that because it doesn't matter i mean don't take three hours on a you know one hour order or anything like that but just be reasonable they're not gonna they are not going to do anything to your account or anything if you're a little slow. Okay, so we got these $5 watermelon fruit bowls and it's our last item. So let's try to pick. That looks good. If it's too red or too mushy, I don't get it because it probably tastes like crap. Nobody wants rotten fruit, right? All right. Oh, she wants two. I didn't see that. Let me grab another. I'm talking, I didn't pay attention. This one looks good. Nothing too crazy. All right. So then on your app, you're gonna hit continue. Unread messages, cause she said thank you. I didn't respond or open it yet. So if there's unread messages at the end, they're gonna make you check them before you can check out in case the customer has changed or added anything. So. On this particular one, let's see what kind of barcode it is. Okay, you guys, so I went over the two barcode types before. Um, this is the third barcode type that you'll get that is very, very rare. This happens when the customer doesn't put their rewards, their Kroger card in. So you can use your own, I use my own. People are gonna say not to, but I do on these. So you're going to scan it, hang on. Well, this thing isn't, it's, it's dead, hang on. So you can scan it that way and then hit confirm. And then I'll put my own in when it does this. This, Of course this would happen because I'm trying to show you guys like the other barcodes. Okay, this is your Instacart card. Mine's a little tattered and rubbed off. Because I've had it for And you're just gonna hit enter for credit and that's it. If the store's not too crazy, I snag a picture of the receipt in the store so that if I lose it in the park of water or something, I don't, like, you know, I'm not screwed out of. So then you say that you kept the receipt. You're never to give the customer a receipt. Never, 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 never. Even if they ask, you cannot. All right. So we're going to hit start delivery and then give their address, which I'm not going to show you guys. Okay. So we've secured the bags. We're on the way to Leslie. I do have to get her driver's license and scan it for the cold meds. You will have to do that on alcohol, cold meds, um, things like that, lighters, sometimes spray paint, and sometimes it doesn't prompt you on spray paint, which I think is weird. Um, I'm trying to think, just mainly cold meds. There are some children's meds that it makes you scan their ID on as well, which is weird to me, but that's just the way it is. Um, Typically, if you have to show your ID at Kroger while you're checking out, that means you have to show, or that means you have to get the customer's ID. Um, I had to show her my ID for these cold meds for Miss Leslie. So, um, we are going to go deliver. I may not film the delivery because I do have to meet her and get her ID. Unless she leaves it out for me, um, you know, to scan, which they're not supposed to do, but... If she's sick, she's sick, y'all. I don't want to bother her, you know. Okay, guys, so <clears throat> I'm on my way to Leslie's. 
that barcode I showed you guys is not typical. Um, I wish I could show you the online pay barcode because it's big like that, but it says online pay. That one is just um, to charge the customer the Instacart delivery fee. She didn't actually put her Kroger rewards or anything in there. So usually it'll have two. It'll have the Instacart delivery fee and then the their Kroger card. Um, she didn't do that. It's probably just because she's sick and doesn't feel like it. But in those cases, like if they don't give you a phone number to put in at Kroger, then I just use mine. And the reason is because it doesn't happen very often. That's that's an anomaly there that just happened. And um, of course it would happen when I'm trying to film a video because it never happens. But anyhow, she is three miles from the store. Um, this was paying, I think, 13 minutes of change. It was very easy. It would have taken me all of eight minutes to shop and check out if I hadn't been filming, but it took 15, so that's fine. Um, I don't mind a bit to film for you guys. So, I turned on Walmart, and then I took that Uber. I took it and accepted it, and then it said customer canceled. I'm like, what the hell? Whatever. It looks like this. I guess he got tired of waiting for a driver because it was out there for a while before anybody picked it up. Um, I didn't take it right away because I was shopping in order and I didn't want his food to get cold because once a driver accepts the order, that's when they start making the order. So I didn't want to take it like 10 minutes before I left the store and then it get cold, you know. So I guess he got sick of waiting for his food. I'm sorry whoever you are so I don't know you guys Do -do. so Instacart has allowed me so much freedom I have had an accounting job at a desk 8 to 12 hours a day since I graduated college in like 2005 or whatever it was um, and up until 2019 2018 2018 um No, it was 2019 because I started Instacart in 2018, but I did it part-time when I was working. And then 2019 was when I did it full-time. Like, I have not worked a W-2 job since 2019. Um, it has sustained me. I have not had to struggle for money. I can do what I want to um, when I want, and I don't have to ask for vacation time. The only thing is that if you do Instacart, Spark, Uber, all that full-time, DoorDash, whatever, you don't get paid time off when you do take off. You have to save money and, like, you know, plan for that. And if that's the only con to the job, I'll, I'll do it all day long. It's fine. <laughs> you know, I have so much freedom that it doesn't even matter. But I did apply for this accounting job last week. Um because it's only 25 hours a week and it was remote. Um, and in the winter time, you know, it's cool to be at home sometimes when it's cold. And the dude called me for an interview and then he didn't show for the interview. It was like hour sick or something. I don't know. And he hasn't called me back either to reschedule. So I'm just like, okay. <laughs> So we're 1.8 miles from the customer's home. I did text her and I said, if you're too sick, you can leave your ID, like, uh, barcode sign up on your porch if you want no contact. Otherwise, I'm fine. I don't mind contact when people are sick because if I'm going to get something, I'm going to get it. And if I'm not, I'm not. I don't care. I'm not a germaphobe. I don't, you know, I don't care. It doesn't bother me. I rarely ever get sick, so. Ever since I had the C word in 2020, my immune system has been top notch, y'all. I haven't, I haven't got sick. Um, when I got sick with that, I was sick, sick. But then, since then, I've been great. Um, uh, your immune system will work if you let it, usually. <laughs> if you take care of yourself. Now, if you're unhealthy, then 
you know, if you eat bad or don't move your body or don't get sunshine or don't go outside any time of day or even if you're like a negative Nelly and like you're not a positive person or a happy person, your body knows that. Like you that speaks to your body and your body's gonna be sick. So I try to be I'm not the most positive person ever because the world is a crap show. So I'm a very cynical human. I'm a realistic human. But I also try to use humor to cope with that. And I think that that kind of cancels it out a little bit, you know. That's just me. Um, and I'm like South Park. Nothing's off limits to me. I'll roast anything or anyone because I don't care if they roast me. Okay, so we're turn right onto the customer street. <clears throat> Always use your turn signals, you guys. It's not really safe to not do that. I don't know if she ever wrote me back and said if she was leaving her stuff out or if she was gonna let me just see her little sick self here. Nope, she didn't answer. She read it. She didn't answer it. That's okay. I'll just ring her doorbell. I wish I could wear this phone on my body without her knowing I'm filming because then I would film. But, and I'll blur her face out, obviously. But uh, it's okay. I'm going to set the phone up where you guys can see, maybe, if I can. I don't know if I can. I bought this phone holder thing off Timu, y'all, and it sucks. It doesn't even, like, stick to my car, and it's too big for my car. So, I gotta find a good one. If you guys have any recommendations on a good, like, phone stand thing for your car, I drive a Honda Accord. So, if you guys have something similar, you know. Doggies. That man had two cute doggies. One, zero, zero. All right, I'm at her house. Hang on. Okay, so that's delivered. She was on the front porch and she had an Australian Shepherd, you guys. Oh my God. She said she was four. Mine's, I guess, around two. He's wild and that one was wild. And I'm like, crap. He's not going to calm down by the time he's four. <laughs> All right, so we got another batch popping up here, but it's for Food Line. I'm not in that town, so we're not going to do that. Okay, guys. So when you get to the screen where you have to check ID, I was going to show you, but she was outside um, on the porch. But you hit confirm arrival. It's like a green button like the ones I showed you in the store where you check out and stuff. Confirm arrival. Verify the customer's 21. I just click through and then you just scan the back of the ID. That's it. Um, it's very easy. Now, if you don't have alcohol or anything that needs an ID, you hit confirm arrival. If it's meet the customer, you're supposed to make contact with the customer, but sometimes they don't come to the door. So you just leave it, either way, you leave it and take a picture um, and message them the picture and that's it. So it's really easy. Um, I'll try to do another one here today where you guys can see like one that doesn't have alcohol or meds or any of that. And one that has a normal barcode, right? That's so silly that that one in 200 orders had that barcode. I have indigestion, but I'm hungry. I really want some Sonic beef patties this morning. I need some red meat. I ate all chicken yesterday. Um, is that right? I know the day before I ate all chicken, I didn't eat any red meat. What did I eat yesterday? Oh, it was. It was all chicken. All chicken patties is all I ate yesterday like meat and three pop tarts because i was doing good on keto until i ate three pop tarts i feel stupid like eating three pop tarts and messing up my diet you guys i can't i don't know why but i can't be consistent like when i did keto before that well, there are potholes everywhere in this town you know T tennessee sucks um Anyway, I don't want this to turn into a keto video since it's an Instacart video. But. All right, I hope that some of that helped as far as like basics of Instacart go. Um, I'll try to do another order. There's nothing right now, but I'll try to do another one just so you can see what, you know, different kinds of orders or whatever. I wish I would get a Walgreens because they're easy, fast, um, you know. 
Publix isn't ready yet. It's built, but it's not open. So I can't do that. I'm hoping to get a Walmart over here in a second. So those of you, especially the person that, that commented and said they wanted to sign up for Instacart, are you also going to sign up for Spark, Uber and all, or are you just going to do Instacart? So I have found that to make money doing this, like if you want to do it full time and quit your day job, you have to multi-app. You have to be on a couple of different platforms because it's weird. Some days Instacart is so freaking busy and Walmart is dead and some days Walmart is busy and Instacart is dead and some days they're both really, really busy. Um, now, there have been times where they're both dead but that's in Kentucky. In Tennessee, it's always busy. Always. Like, people order delivery all day, every day down here. So, um, Worthy is the Lamb. I think that was your screen name on YouTube. Where, what state do you live in? Um, I can try to help you find the busiest zone there near you if you tell me where about you live. But, um, let me know if you hear this. If you're still stuck and sticking around listening to me jabber, let me know where you live. Um, and I'll tell you if it's busy or not there. If I know, but. Tennessee is very consistently busy every day. People will say, oh, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are my slow days. Not here. I don't have a slow day if I come here. If I go to uh, Bowling Green, it's slow as crap. Yesterday sucked because I went to Bowling Green. I had to go up there to Target and film a video and, like, do a few things up there. And uh, it was It was bad. That was really slow, really bad, so. There's a cop behind me and I hope he doesn't. What the hell? Go get him, he just ran that light. He ain't even gonna get him. He ran the light and almost hit this car and the cop didn't do it, dang, dang. I just hope he doesn't see my camera and be like, I'm going to get you instead, girl. When well, I'm not really looking at it or doing anything wrong. Tennessee cops don't play, y'all. They will pull you over if you look at them sideways. Kentucky cops don't give a crap. <laughs> I'm glad I have my seatbelt on because usually I don't. So. Alright, it's 7.34. Walmart drops orders at 7.44 here. So... I'm going to pull into Walmart and see what I can get here. I should end this video since it's all about Instacart, but I'm going to go into Walmart and then I'll end it. Go on by. Leave me alone. Okay, cool. <laughs> he went on by and left me alone. I need breakfast really bad. I'm starving, but I'm going to go over here and take an order first because I don't want to miss the draw. If you're in the Walmart parking lot, you get the best orders. If you're away, you get the leftovers that people don't take right away. So, I'm definitely going to go here for like 10 minutes and see what I can get. And then go get something to eat. The subway here in Walmart, like, was opening at 9 every morning. And y'all, they've extended their hours to 8. So, if I wanted that, I could eat that. But I don't want that. <sighs> I did not sleep very good last night at all. I woke up so many freaking times, you guys. Like, oh my god. I don't know why. And I think it's the full moon. Like, when it starts to be a couple or three days before the full moon, like, I don't sleep that good. So, that's that. That's why I know it is. That and the Pop-Tart to bet. Sugar is a stimulant. So, here's the Walmart Spark screen. This little thing right here is like doo -doo 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 -doo, looking for an order. And then, hold on, let me reset this Instacart app. Because if, if you reset your location, it like loses your location. So, here's the map. And it shows I'm near the Kroger. Rise and shine. It says batches are available even early in the morning. They can come from any store, but only stores likely to have batches in the next 30 minutes of they are visible. So, here in White House, we just have the Kroger, you guys. If a batch pops up, I'll show you the screen what it looks like, though. 
and on that man parts a long way, but he's in a semi. I'm hoping to get a good spark batch here in a second. I'm really hungry and really need caffeine, though. I feel like I'm going to die because I, I haven't had caffeine yet today. Um, I always try to wait till I eat to drink caffeine because you... It's just so much better on your body and your cortisol, but, like, I'm starving. I need to go ahead and order my Sonic Burger Patties and my unsweet tea. I try to do keto again today and try to, like, be successful instead of the Pop-Tarts. I don't buy Pop-Tarts, you guys. So, on Instacart, if, um... Say you get a replacement and you leave the store and the customer's like, I don't want that. After you left the store, you get to keep whatever it is they don't want. Instacart tells you to donate, discard, or keep it. And I ended up with two large boxes of Pop-Tarts that we don't eat. So, rather than donate them, I kept them and we've eaten them and I shouldn't have. I should have donated them to like a blessing box because they're nothing but trash food. Like, they're not even considered food, but... You know, I don't want to bless others with junk food either, though. That's not blessing them at all, but, you know, that's just how I feel about it. I'm sitting here waiting on a spark order. So, I'm going to go, you guys. I think I'm going to go find me some breakfast. And if you guys have any questions about anything on this Instacart video please please comment below ask me i'll answer anything that i skipped over that you guys may think of there's so much to it that it's hard to cover it all in one video so um that's that i'm gonna upload my pet smart video too because it's <laughs> it's a train wreck you guys but that's okay people like to watch train wrecks don't they they don't look away from them so um i have good news too i finally got my tiktok live button yesterday I don't know when I'm going to go live, but I'm going to, but, like, I don't know when. I think I'm going to wait a little while because I'm scared, so. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy your Thursday, and I'll talk to you on the next one.